St. Paul's Chapel at Murray Barracks was the center of attention on Friday as it hosted an important ceremony in a man's life. The union between Captain Wesley Isaac and his beautiful bride, Jane Kulimbao, to officially and legally cement their love for each other. While all weddings are special occasions, this is a military wedding and it comes with its own protocols and formalities. The groom, Captain Isaac, dressed in his official military attire for the ceremony. The ceremony held before military officials, family and friends. I always say, I say, take you, take you, Jen Kulimba, Jen Kulimba, to be my lady wedded wife. Be my lady wedded wife. This ring I give you. This ring I give you. I said, Wesley. I said, Wesley. It's a token of my love. It's a token of my love. It's a pledge of my constant faith. It's a pledge of my constant faith. Abiding loyalty. Abiding loyalty. With this ring, do I marry? While all formalities of blessing the wedding is similar to civilian union, this particular part is unique. The bride and the groom exiting through an arch of sabers or swords or even rifles. This usually takes place as the newlyweds leave the chapel. Another tradition is cutting the cake with a sword. This is an exciting addition to a wedding reception that is sure to become cherished and also make a great photo. Instead of a standard wedding knife, the bride will hold the saber or sword while the groom places his hands on top of hers to guide it through the cake. Colonel Benoma Syria, a senior rank officer, explained some of the traditions like getting permission from the commanding officer before getting married. <laughs> Regardless of the type of wedding conducted, any marriage ceremony that welcomes a new spouse into the military community is one of great importance and meaning. A strong and supportive military family plays a crucial role in the well-being of any country. Shamin Poriambeb, National MTV News.